Alright, hello again, I'm Ben Canning, and this is going to be a little bonus clip for you. So the footage I'm going to show you is footage from the Wedge in Newport Beach. It's a place where there's a rock wall over here on the kind of left-hand side, and what happens is as waves come in, they come in at an angle, and they bounce off. And what you'll see is coming in from the left over here will be another wave. That's the reflected wave that bounced off the wall, and it's going to intersect with the original waves that are coming in. And so the end result is you get this kind of peak right here. Um, now this is an example of constructive interference where you have two waves adding together to make something pretty big. Um, so the kind of reflected wave seems small, but once it combines with the original wave, it can be quite big. So I'm going to switch over to a different uh, program real fast, and then we'll watch that video and I'll point some things out. Let me rewind here. All right. Pause it, and you can see this reflected wave coming in at an angle, and you'll notice that the wave right here is a little bit smaller, but where that reflected wave intersects, it's much bigger. All right, I'm going to rewind this and just let it play throughout without stopping to interrupt. But watch for those intersecting waves and to see what happens. Yeah! Oh, yeah! And just so you know, the little kind of bobs or dots you saw out there were people's heads. So people are out there body surfing these waves, or at least attempting to. Um, and so that's an example of the wedge and where you can get constructive interference that does some pretty gnarly things. That's it for this one. Uh, let's move on to the next lectures, please.